Hmm, it seems to feature rather prom prominently. I seem to. I'm gonna skip this part. Hey, yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to the Plucky Squire. We are at the beginning of chapter three. This is the chapter that focuses specifically on Moonbeard and Moonbeard training us on how to use our powers to pop in and out of the storybook. If you haven't seen the first two chapters, I recommend going to watch those because this one's gonna be a doozy. Greetings, lad. Hey, Jot, glad you're back here in one piece. I suppose you must have a great number of questions, lad. The answers to the first question is, Yes, I am aware of how cool these sunglasses look. The answer to the second question is, yes, our entire world is indeed a land in a storybook. Bananas, huh? I've kept this knowledge a closely guarded secret for many a year. Somehow that greasy nincompoop hum grump found out. Very regrettable. Now he's known, now he knows the truth. Who knows what mischief he's planning? I have a hunch that big trouble is on the way. But that just means, young squire, that you must be double the trouble. Follow me. Yes, sir, Mr. Moonbeard, sir. First order of business, getting in and out of the book. See that green sparkly stuff over there? Meta magic, that is. It lets you break the fourth wall, which is another way of saying jump out of the book. Walk into the portal and try holding the E button. What's an E button? Not entirely sure, but you should press and hold it. Uh, yeah. yeah, so this is kind of where we left, uh, left off in the last video, but it starts us off on chapter, the beginning of chapter three because, we, anyways. <laughs> testing, testing, ahem. Jot, I'm talking to you via room tooth headset. You know, I'm suddenly feeling rather parched. Wizards are like plants. We must keep hydrated. So do all humans. <coughs> Use your page turning to get me something to drink. Approach the edge of the book and see what you can do. Manipulate the book. Turn the page. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Seems like you can use A and D to turn the pages. Best get to it then. Flip. This is the one we need. You see that glowing around the edges of the paper? That's the book telling you there's something useful on its page. Try jumping in and seeing what you can find. <laughs> it's so cool. Ah, I love this game. My fizzy pop. That will do very nicely. Head back here and drop off that pop. Ah. Manipulate. Wait, how do I? Oh, I didn't realize that I'm stupid for that. I guess I didn't realize that I could jump onto the book. I thought I had to be on the edge of the book to pop back in. Pop time. Moonbeard, slow down. You're gonna give yourself a tummy ache. Ah, that's the ticket. Thanks, lad. Those turn gauntlets can be very handy, don't you think? Or don't you think? I was the one that put them on the desk. I've sorted a number of useful items out there, but there's one small problem. I'm not sure of their price precise location. Things get moved around. Sam is full of energy. You know, it's chaos out there. When you need one of those items on the desk, you'll just have to search for yourself. Last point of order. Mini Beard! Yo! I hear you've already met. Mini Beard is a tiny simulacra. Simu simulacrum of me. I created him to help out around the house. He's quite helpful and rather good at puzzles, you know. If you're having trouble with a puzzle and you see him around, why not ask him for advice? There's a lot of, there's a lot of wisdom stored in that tiny bearded head. Shot! Our land has been troubled by something quite little, quite like Humgrum's meta magic before. There may be a great upheavals and big battles ahead. But I have faith you'll rise to whatever challenges are thrown our way. You are the plucky squire after all. I believe in you. 
Always have, lad. Now, I expect that your friends are waiting for you. If you leave the book to turn the page, I think you'll find them. Thank you so much, Moonbeard. Thank you, Minibeard. Thank you, Pip. Something, I forgot your name. I am a good friend, I promise. Guys, guys, guys. We've lost shot. I can't believe it. We shouldn't have let him just, we shouldn't have, we should have had his back. But what could we have done? We're not warriors like him. Never have been, never will be. We'll protect Mojo now that he's, he's gone. Fear not my friends, I'm back. Shot! Dude! You're all right. Wait, you're not a ghost, are you? Of course he isn't, Thrash. Look at his face. That's his normal squid squidgy, squidgy face. Fucking squidgy. So happy to see it. Shot, where were you? Hello, gang. Moonbeard, is that you? Indeed, I'm talking to you via a device known as a Rune Tooth headset. This is a strange magical form of communication known as a conference call. All very exciting. Now listen up! This business with Humgrump is rather worrying. We must consult with Queen Chroma at the Arch Ar Archia City. You three should head there now. I've got some wizard's business to attend to and a donut to eat. I'll join you kids later. Violet, Thrash, I'll find you. I'll fill you in on the situation while you travel. Moonbeard out! Conference call? Well, you heard him. A trip to Arshia City, my hometown. Oh, Jot, I'm so glad you're okay. Come on, let's scoot. Alright, gang, let's get it going. My sword! Just imagine if I wasn't able to pull the sword. Ah, I love that. It's so cute. That's so cute. Yeah! Fuck him up! And so our hero set off to Artia City Artia. to visit the good Queen Chroma. I had that right. Queen Chroma? It's kind of hard to Chapter miss Chapter 4. Yay! Alright guys, well, if you want to see my most recent... <laughs> no, I can't do you like that. It's good to know that some of the chapters do vary in size or length, though. Because we might be able to get this game done a little faster. I was kind of worried with, with my schedule. To Artia, our heroes took a shortcut. Why would they to do the that? Aquatic land known as. The Sonnet Swamps. That doesn't sound very inviting at all. I was kind of worried with my schedule, it would be kind of hard for me to get this game done at a reasonable pace. Well, this is unknown territory, kiddos! Jot, your story has never taken you to this area. You're off script now. No happy endings guaranteed. You could get splattered, eaten by a huge frog, who knows? Although, these swamps are usually rather cultured as far as I gather. The residents here are quite keen on poetry. If you've ever wanted to hear a snail recite verse, here's your chance. Nevertheless, you was bad reception. Moonbeard? No, oh, looks like the rune tooth doesn't work so well in these swamps. I guess we'll get connected again once we're on the other side. No need to worry. This big bug looks rather disagreeable. This big bug looked rather disagreeable. Can I kill it? I can. Anything can be killed if you're evil enough. Come at me. Oh shit, I didn't realize you could spit. Spitting mad bars at me. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, it's been so long since I played this game. There's so many games that came out in September that it was just like, it was so overwhelming and ah, ah, I wanted to play them all. Whoa, look at the size of that. Big, gnarly, uh, big.
Why did I have to press E to jump that? Green lightning struck with furious sound. This insect's nest broke during the ground. Bro broke through the ground. Sorry, I cannot speak. And thence flew the bugs. Really not a fan of these punky bugs. Snails are not bugs, by the way. We are mollusks. Big difference. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that. Ooh, this is a big page right here. Dang, this place is heaving with bugs. Hello, little goblin. I have a task for you. My rotund purple friend concerning that wretched squire. I booted him out of the book. You know, you know. But a per persistent little creep. He may still be out there. Well, with an eye on causing Humgrump trouble. But you see, Humgrump will bring the trouble to him. Take a shot of my meta magic and leave through that pretty portal. See yourself free of these pages and go bully that wretched pest. But I'm not out of the book. Oh. Uh, Humgrump, there's only one problem with your plan is that I'm not out of the book. I'm not missing any collectibles or secrets this time. And if I do, the video ends. Simple as that. I wonder if there's a multiplier to be able to like, uh, ah! That's not nice. Stop it. Stop. 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 Stop spitting at me. Roll. Stop letting them spit at you. Never let your enemy spit at you. That's rule number one. I don't know what the other rules are. Don't ask me. So, this must be one of the portals Moonbeard was talking about. And you, Jot, you can just jump right out of our world through this thing? Onto a desk in someone's room? Crazy stuff, man. And on that desk is a storybook in which we're all living? I'm a character in a story? My whole life is just a plot line? Sorry, it's just a bit much to take on board. Although, it figures that I'm just a supporting character in someone's story. I just wish I'd been written a little more... cool. That's actually kind of sad. I imagine that these characters will be dealing with existential crises the longer that we play. He vanished. He must be in the other realm now. I wonder if he can still see us. I guess to him, we look like drawings. Gnarly. I wish they'd still let me like push to interact instead of just letting the dialogue go. Where'd that one guy, where'd the, where'd the one thing go? Oh, that's so cool. Hell yeah. Should I be exploring? Is there... Any chance that I can find anything worth exploring for? I'm gonna guess no, but I'm gonna explore anyways. Try jumping off the desk, worth the go. <laughs> I know, you weren't expecting to see me. Oh, whoa. Damn, this thing's got range. God. Can you stop making a mess all over the place? That's kind of gross. You're kind of gross. You're grossing me out. And you know you're doing something wrong when you gross me out. Guys, look! I'm on the other side! I'm gonna wait to grab that key. Just because I know... There's other things I could be grabbing. Not that, you dirty-minded people, you. Now give me something special for killing all the enemies. No? Alright, you suck. You suck. Back in our world again? As simple as that. I really wonder what it's like out there. 
Maybe you too will be able to explore young Violet. Maybe you too will be able to explore. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just cooler. Maybe this is my story. It's not like the book is named after me or whatever. <laughs> what? Playing it cautious because why not? You know, we're not in a rush. It's not like you guys have to watch me do this entire platforming section. Because, you know, I could easily just edit it out. But why would I do that when we could simply just enjoy our time together? I could keep this entire section in. And nobody would, nobody would question. I could simply just talk my entire time and never really make any sense. Because I'm just trying to fill the space. Just trying to keep you entertained while I go through this dark cave. Killing these enemies. It all makes sense when you think about it. Or I could just leave you in awkward silence and not say anything and not edit it out either. That's also a possibility. But then again, why would I do that? That also just sounds like torture, honestly. And torturing is not the thing that I want to do, you know? We're here to have fun. We're here to enjoy ourselves. We're here to walk through scary tunnels and okay. Huge bug sat in the middle of the path. Humongous bug looks like it's full of water. If it wasn't so huge, we could get around it and be on our way. Yeah, well, it is. So get over yourselves. Let's let's figure this out. A tiny frog observed the bug. Hey! Wake up! Oh shit! I forgot about you guys. I forgot. Mini beard, stay back. I don't need your advice. I know exactly how to do this. Unlike Funko Fusion, the puzzles in this game are not that hard. Got him. I really hope Mini Beard's objective in like telling me what to do isn't saying, oh, I could use this portal to pop out of the book, which is something that I should definitely already know. The rusty gate was closed. Oh, I know what to do with that. Wait, what? Oh, I thought I had a good idea going here. The moat was completely drained of water. Oh, oh, hold on. Full of water. And then we need to replace tiny with huge so that this thing gets small and that thing gets big. Guys, what's up? I'm a genius. Full of water. <laughs> I love how it's just instantaneous. Oh. Hold on. Drain. Hello, little frog. Jot peered into the open gate. Oh, oh, look at how it all just comes together. I told you these puzzles aren't hard. It's there's one thing about the puzzles being hard and there's another thing about the puzzles being difficult or I guess challenging because if the puzzles are challenging, then at some point, you know, you're you're going to figure it out and it's going to feel rewarding. But if the, if the puzzle is hard, then regardless of whether you figure it out or not, you're not gonna feel accomplished because it just took you so long to figure it out. Does that make sense? There's just a difference. Tiny bug. Nice. Kill him! Goodbye, tiny, oh, sorry, that was thrash. Goodbye, tiny insect dude. Awesome job, Jot. You really got a grasp on that power of yours. It's all just amazing, really. Huge to tiny, full to empty. By changing the words, you can change, well, everything. I guess the story in this book really isn't fixed, huh? I guess not. Maybe the story's characters are not so fixed either, you know? Hey, hey, hey don't get any ideas. 
Remember your place, side characters. <laughs> hey! This reminds me of the Tim Tim shop from Undertale. We meet again! Care to take a look at my current selection? I forgot the kind of the, the voice that I gave it. Art book for sure. Whoop whoop! Ooh. Uh, see, I don't know if I'm missing them or if uh, I just haven't collected them all from the shops. Not that it matters, of course. I'm perfectly fine. Jump attack badge. Perform a powerful and surprising downward strike from the air. I want that. I need that. Spin attack. Charge up and release a devastating spin attack to easily cut through groups of enemies. Oh, these are both so good, but I can only get one. I want this one. Is it possible to go to previous chapters and buy... Or no, I don't think I would... Hmm. No, I don't want to test it out. I know how it works. Yay! That's so cool! Ah! The walkway was destroyed. Okay. A tiny lily pad filled the water. Or floated on the water. Ooh. Mr. Krabs! I have an idea! Everybody be very quiet. I'm gonna do a sneak attack. Hiya! They never saw it coming. Oh, this guy never even suspected a damn thing. Never even saw it coming. Can I? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 okay, okay, wait, 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 so I need huge, and so I take this and pop out of the book, pop back in, and now that tiny lily pad is a huge lily pad. a lot bigger than I was expecting. <laughs> I would actually be terrified to see a lily pad that big in real life. That is horrifying. Look over there! A poor flippery floundering, floundering fish! Uh, yeah? How does that concern me or either of us? We have something to do. Jot cleared his mind. <clears throat> now he was ready to grab the fish. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh! Oh, this is a thing! Oh, shit! Oh! Okay, look here. We're not gonna do this all day. I know that there's a there's actually an achievement to get this on the first try, and I had no idea what it was talking about, but I understand now. How am I missing it? Now I'm gonna squish you to death, you little shit! Fish grabbed. <laughs> The plucky squire gently released the fish into the water. Oh, it wouldn't have been gentle if I had any say in it. And there, it regained its composure. Phew! Thank you so much, noble traveler. My name is Flodio, and I am a fish. Green lightning zapped me right out of these waters. Consumed by fear, I flipped and flopped. Till my hand, my fungi was. Till by your hand, my fung. Fu fuge was stopped. <laughs> fungi? I am eternally in your debt, but you must forgive me. I must go. But my beloved swims this reedy fen, and I cannot rest till we meet again. Safe travels, my noble saviors. What an extremely well spoken fish. I do hope he finds his love. <laughs> okay. That was it. 
No special achievement, no special reward for that? Because that was entirely optional, mind, the, mind you. Our heroes ventured on. The sounds of the daytime chorus began to fade. And the light began to dwindle. Mm. I can come back to this page and use that. It was now night in the swamps. Not for long! The swamps are kind of moody at night. Check out those singing frogs! Sweet harm sweet harmonies. Can I kill them? No. Alright. I just gotta check. I don't I don't wanna walk up to these frogs and then they attack me because I thought that they were friendly. So I get the gist. So I need to turn it to night so that um they'll go to sleep and then they'll like deflate. Because right now they're inflated while they're singing, which blocks the path. See, I got it. I'm a real gamer. I know how to problem solve when the puzzles are actually challenging instead of hard. And yes, there is a difference. You can fight me about it in the comments. The bridge was broken. Ooh, wait, wait. The bridge is fixed. I think. Was there a fixed? The bridge was solid? Mini beard, I don't need you. Manipulation! This is the only time manipulation is good. Wait, but how am I supposed to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Damn. Look at that. That's me. That's me. It was now daytime in the swamps. Ah, oh, hell yeah, look at that. Okay, they didn't deflate like I thought they were going to, but you know, I had the right idea. Ah, it's so rewarding! Go. Grab that. Oh, I see. I see. I need to switch it to nighttime again. Because now that blocks my way. Hell yeah. That's so cool. Were you guys just going to stand there? You weren't going to, like, follow me and help me figure this out? Some friends you are. Who the fuck are these guys? Oh, I don't have to... Okay. So how do I get over here? Oh, I've done it already. Woo! Art book! Or art page! Whatever you want to call it. Nice. Some early concepting of game environments appealing to the 80s, 90s kids who grew up with slime toys and TV shows. Sure. I would have never gotten 90s or 80s, 90s vibes from that, but okay. Wait. So if I pop out of here... Hold on. So if I switch it to night, then that moves out of the way, but then that one moves in the way. Is there a way? I've got an idea that probably won't work like at all, but it's worth it's worth a try. Cuz I'm thinking that I can just move this to block the path of this one so that when I turn it to daytime, he can't move there. Oh, that works. That definitely works. And then we just push that out of the way and now we're sweet. Ah, look at that. We're so set. Ah. Whoa, what? Oh, what? Oh, I got to time it at the right time. Okay, it stands there for a second. Hell yeah! Oh, that's so... Hmm. Wait. Oh. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh! Oh, wait, no. I don't need to manipulate this. Hold on. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Are you hanging on? You better be. Because this is going to be great. Whoever thought of the concept for this game is a fucking genius. Like, whoever pitched this in the board meeting, I, I hope they got a raise. This game is fantastic. Oh, okay. Oh, hell yeah! Okay! So now I have to come back here. Yes! It's so rewarding! And I, I... I'm gonna be arguing with you guys about this. I'm honestly arguing with myself, because some of you might agree, but, like... It just feels so rewarding to... Why would I have to go down here? Hmm. Okay, whatever. But it just feels so rewarding, and, like, I... I'm only saying this because I just recently like uploaded the, the Funko Fusion episode that I got so pissed with because the puzzles and the combat are just so chaotic. This is just a nice change of pace. Adventurers, maybe you can help, uh, help us. Oh wait, are they supposed to be British? Our house is full of flying bugs. Please kick out those insectoid thugs. You bet we will, snail dude. Squire, your sword that looks your sword there looks mighty sharp, but if you want to wallop those buzzy pests, a long range weapon will serve the best. Um there may be something around here. A long range weapon, huh? Let's take a little candor. Huh? There's something lodged under the water. Maybe I can dislodge it with a little, with a little bit of magic. I can never quite get this kind of thing to work. But, well, I suppose there's a first time for everything. Guys, uh, maybe best if you stood back? A little further. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Oh! Holy guacamole! It actually worked! Oh, uh, I mean... Ta-da! Cool, huh? It's a big log. Not really a long-ranged weapon, unless you threw it. Is that a challenge? Are you challenging me? Ooh, a portal? You know, I get the feeling there won't be a weapon just lying around in the swamp. I mean, have you ever seen a snail rocking a crossbow? I haven't. But, maybe, you could find something out there in the other world, in the other realm. You might absolutely be right. Is my long range weapon going to be on the other side of that paper? Yeah. Now we're open worlding this. Oh, that's, ah, that's so cool. What's the name of the kid whose room I'm in? Is he at school right now? How does he not see any of this? <laughs> There's a talking mini beard. My talking mini beard. Wait up, it's me, mini beard. Or to give you my full name, my talking mini beard. I'm a toy based on the character mini beard from the book, The Plucky Squire. It's all a bit meta, but my advice is very practical. If you're looking for a long range weapon, there's only 11, there's, a, there's an elven warrior around here who owns one. She lives in a game card. Here up, head upwards to find her. She might try and shoot you with arrows, but don't take it personally. No need to explain. I am one step ahead of you. I mean, not really, but you know what I mean. Jut, we meet again once more. But alas, it seems that danger is on the horizon. 
Sodded Swap's least desirables have exerted ex extricated themselves from the book. But it does at least appear that you are suitably equipped this time. Eradicate these in invertebrates <laughs> for worthwhile. Got it. I'm already on it. Oh, okay, that thing has a little bit more range now. Ah, it's so cool! Ah, I, I, I'm, ah! Hold on, I think I saw a collectible. Was that an art scroll I saw? Yeah. They thought that they could get away with that. They really thought that they could get away with trying to hide an art scroll from me. I think what's also really cool is like seeing the stuff translate from 2D to 3D. Hell yeah. Oh shit. I thought that there'd be something worth jumping down to collect. I need to stop doing that. I think being a YouTuber has turned me into a completionist because before I would never go out of my way to try and find collectibles as much as I do now. But I don't know, something, something within me has changed. I feel like a new man. This seems extremely extra for a uh, a long-range weapon. I can throw my sword. Is everyone forgetting about this? Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I love this game so much. No, oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Have I died yet in this game? Is this a, is this still a no death run? I can't remember if I've died yet. Whoop whoop! I love it. I love it and I'm never gonna get sick of it. I love it and I'm never gonna get sick of it. Enemy ideas number one. I would have much rather wanted to fight these. These look really cool. Sometimes it's useful just to draw a whole load of enemies without too much thought as to how they'd be used. You can pick the ones you like afterwards. Well, I hope I get to see some of these. These are actually really cool concepts. One of these ways presents the progress. One of these ways presents collectibles, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's the way to progress. This has got to be the way to collect it. Okay, I can't jump on the bounce pad. Fuck! I need- calm down, calm down, it's okay. We're all good. There we go. It was never that serious, Chris. Everything's chill. Everything's A-OK. -okay. What do you have to say? Now then, there's a nook around here. A nook into which you place a bouncy thing. To get to the nook, try turning a corner. How do you think I got up here with the bouncy thing? I, I used the bouncy thing to get up here. He didn't need to tell me that. And then I could see the glowing green stuff. I mean, I guess this game in some way is still for kids, maybe? I don't know who the intended audience is. I'm enjoying it. I know that much. The game is doing something right if I, as an adult, feel like I'm having a good time. Oh. Uh... Oh, it's so cool! <laughs> A 
Aloin Aloinia the Elf Ranger? What's this? Another intruder. I can see a thieving gleam in your eye. No. No, am I gonna have to fight you? <laughs> what? Show me what you've got, rascal. Talk. Jot tried talking. Now is not the time for words, but for battle! Uh, fight. Stab. Oh my god! Jot takes defensive position. You shall not have this bow, but you shall have its fury! What if I just guard the whole time? What if I show her that I'm not here to fight? No doubt you rue entangling with a forest elf! Wait, no, no, no. No, go back. Okay, do I- I think I actually have to fight her. I'm not doing anything, though! She's doing more damage to me than I am to her! I do not converse with scoundrels. You will not soon forget the song of my arrows. Wait, she's not attacking me when we talk. It seems that you really wish to talk. I do not. No doubt you ruin Tangling. Your insistence on conversation grows worrisome. You are becoming quite annoying. You shall not have this bow, but you shall have its fury. Now is not the time for words, but for battle. The feather in your cap quivers with fear, scoundrel. Okay, um... I guess we're doing this. Jut, it is I, Paige the Bookworm. You seem to be in, desperate, in a desperate predicament. Let me revivify you. Paige casts a magic spell. Jot suddenly feels... Oh. Your vitality is restored. I may have also spruced your offensive capabilities. Alas, Jot, that was a one-time spell. I could revitalize you no more. The outcome of this skirmish is now entirely up to you, plucky squire. The sorcery matters not. I shall dispatch you once and for all. Brutal slash and brutal stab. Ah. Ah. You're a little hardier, it seems. But fall to my arrows, you shall. Ooh, that was a good one. Ooh. Oh yeah, you're going down. Still, you persist, intruder! Only well, you cast a spell of protection. I will destroy this elven bow before I give it to you! The elves will never let their power be used with evil purpose. You can tell that your tell that to your boss. What was his name now? Ah yes, Humgrump. Jot, did you hear that? It seems that she is in Erron erroneously identified you as an agent of Hubgrub. You must talk to her, Jot. Inform her of the truth. I think it can produce the spell. I can produce the spell that she cast to buy us some time. So now I should be able to talk to her, right? And now let us finish. Humgrump isn't my boss. Let's stop all this fighting business. Humgrump isn't my boss. You. Expect me to believe that? I don't have a boss. How lucky for you. Really, Humgrump isn't my boss. Your enemy? But what do you mean? No, 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 don't fight her. I'm on a quest to defeat him. You mean, you are not his underling. Most assuredly not. John is a champion of his land, striving to defeat the dastardly Hubgrub and put a stop to his mischief. Is that so? 
Now that I take a closer look at it, now that I take a closer look at him, he does seem to have a somewhat heroic consonance. Aloydia, we wholeheartedly apologize for the disturbance we have precipitated. We are searching for a weapon to help clean up Hubgrub's chaos. Your elven bow seemed like it could be an advantage in, our, in that regard, but we did not mean to cause any turmoil in your forests. I have decided I shall lend you the elven bow. An enemy of Humgrump is a friend of mine. I can see the aura of good about you now, Jot. You couldn't see this before? I am not an evil bone in my body. And just because you had the wrong idea, you assumed that I was here to fight. I should have killed her. Exceptional. When the bow has finished assisting you, it will return itself to these forests. Good luck on your quest, young Jot. Our battle was most bracing. Can I get that number? <laughs> you got the bow. We made a good tag team, don't you think, Jot? So, it seems that Hubgrub's forces have made their way outside of your book. This does not bode well. Here, jump into the sticky note. You'll be able to get down to the book and back into your... Get down to the desk and back into your book. Alonia? 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 How the fuck do you pronounce her name? And in we go! Did you guys miss me? I got a bow. Jot, welcome back! Did you get what you were looking for? Okay, I'm not gonna say anything. Got it. There we go, lad. Good wallop on. Go wallop him. Violet? Why did she stay behind? Bugs. Bugs, yeah. Jot ready for the Elven <laughs> Bow. It was time to put its powers to the test. Oh boy. Oh, let me turn that sensitivity all the way up. Hold on. Get him! Yeah, that, that sensitivity being low was not going to do it for me. This is fun. This is fun. Oh, no, 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 no! Stay back. Jot drew his bow back as far as he could. Oh, I see. And shot that creature right in the eye. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Oh! Oh, wait, 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 that's one of the big ones. Oh! I keep forgetting that there's big ones! Shit. No! Ow! Ow! Fuck! No, 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 no! It's getting real chaotic! Lucky Squire had squashed the bugs. <laughs> that was fun. Thank you from bot from the bottom of our malice hearts. That's not the last of those bugs, though. 
We've had word there are more ahead. They say their leader is a big, horrible bug with flashing light eyes. Have your... What kind of voice am I doing? Have your wits about your about you, adventurers, and good luck. I don't know what kind of voice I was doing. You've reached San Snailford upon Snailford upon Avon. Excuse you? A nice peaceful town. At least it was. Oh wow. Is that the famed plucky squire? I was unexpected for us to find you in these part in these lands. We've read all your books and thrilled at your adventures. We don't get to adventure much ourselves. Being snails, that is. I once fell in a hole. But, but I suppose it's some, it's nothing compared to your escapades. You write about them so evocatively. I'm a big fan of your work. Perhaps I'll... Perhaps you could help us? Those horrible bugs have trashed our town and stolen works of great renown. Namely, the two volume collected words of Shakespeare. Plucky Squire, please defeat the bugs and get those two books back to us. Snail friends, we're on the case. Leave it to us. Woo! What a great carved staircase. What do you got for me? Well, if it isn't the brave warriors with a sharp eye for good deals. I've got some new stuff in. Take a look. Ooh. Arts roll for sure. Enemy ideas two. Sword throw upgrade two. Sword damage upgrade two. Further increase the power of Jot's sword. Good for all sword attacks. Jot can now throw a sword further than before. We'll increase the sword's attack. Yeah. Sh I need to stop doing that. And then I can always come back because there's a bunch of barrels that I can collect. There are 10 bugs here in this western nook. Defeat them all to collect that book. Now just how much more damage is my sword doing? Clearly not enough. Because I'm still getting my ass handed to me. There was a stone block. More like a stone staircase. Right? Am I right, guys? Am I right? Am I right, guys? Aw, oh, look at you guys. The plucky squire! I've been rescued by a celebrity! You banished those bugs! You're just as brave as I imagined! But we're not done yet. There was a stone staircase. Nice. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. The staircase replaces the block, so I need to position the block so that it makes a staircase in the proper place. Okay. That was not at all what I meant to do, but that'll work. There we go. I was trying to swap the two. A hero from a Shakespeare play. The plucky squire has saved the day. That I have, citizen. You saved my shell. Thank you. That was definitely not a British. I, I need. Maybe I should probably just stop. Maybe I should probably just stop. Wait, how do I get? Ooh, how do I get? Hold on. Yeah, I can use a sword throw. Was that the intended way? Maybe not, but who cares? I got it. Oh, that's so cool. I can use the sword to, to grab the, oh my God. They thought of everything. I got your first book. Oh, 
volume one returned. All thanks to you. Now here's a key to retrieve book two. Why couldn't you have just given me that in the first place? Why did I have to go through all the hassle? So, my insect spies tell me, the wretched squire is at large in these pages again. In these very swamps, most displeasing. No doubt, he and his miserable friends are on their way to Artia. Well, it's soon. I'll soon put an end to their adventures. I'll summon up some squire killers. Some rushing, crushing caterpillars! Excuse me? Whoa, whoa. They drop bombs? Who thinks of this? Oh my god. This is light work. Oh! Oh! If I could just get them to do that again. Oh! Hold on. Come back here! Light work! Light work! I'm him. I know you guys, you guys can say it. I'm him. I am the Blucky Squire. You've blasted those caterpillars, man. So what exactly are these characters here for? I mean, I know that they're like supporting characters, but are they going to actually help me at some point? Both volumes are now back safe and sound. We are eternally grateful. We will thank you for the special performance. No, you, you really don't have to, guys. Seriously, it's it's okay. Oh, for a muse of fire. That, okay. A kingdom for stage princes to act and monarchs to behold. I can't read that fast. Hello! Been waiting ages to say my big line. Bravo! That was it? That was that was the whole thing? You snailed it! Gosh, that's very insensitive. Now, brave adventurers, exit stage left. Which would be your right. Fare thee well! So why was there a portal thingy here? Is there any particular reason why there needed to be a portal thingy here? Alright, well I'm not quite seeing a reason for that, so moving on. This is a long chapter. Shh! Don't tread so loudly. The, bo the boss bug will hear you. Whoa! Can you see those? Those buggy looking eyes? You mean, the ones that are rapidly getting bigger and bigger? MY FRIENDS! I told you, you shouldn't have trod so loudly! It's always feet that are causing trouble! MY FRIENDS! Oh, what have they ever done for me? They kinda just stand around and praise me and then talk shit sometimes, occasionally. What have they done for me? With great caution you must tread! There's a buzzing brute in the nook ahead! Oh god. Here, the big bug through the entranceway. Oh, do I have to do this again? 
It was time to finish this. Oh boy. Once and for all. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta ready myself. Sensitivity all the way up. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why am I not? Oh, I don't need to... Maybe? How do I fight this guy? Even with sensitivity at 100, it's still not high enough for me. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Fuck, I stop shooting. One more, one more, one more, one more. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> that was a lie. The bug was best. That sensitivity is not high enough, even at a hundred. Look lucky, Squire, triumphant. Legend! Shot! Amazing! You wielded the elven bow magnificently, plucky squire. It served you well, and now it must return to the forest. Thank you, elven bow. A magical bow! Well, I never. The exit from these swamps lies ahead. If you ever return, you'll be happily welcomed back by all its residents. Well, apart from the bugs, you destroyed all of them. Really cracking job. Farewell, young adventurers. Yay! Glad I got to play Exterminator. Phew! We survived the swamps. You know, Moonbeard said Jot was off script here. But it turns out, off script doesn't have to mean certain doom. Nope, we figured it out. We improvised. Improvisation. I dig it, like a drum solo. Or a freeform painting. Sounds quite cool, doesn't it? No, you guys both suck. Adventurers, I reunited with my love, Gilead. Lodio told me all about all all about how you rescued him. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. What a lovely fish. I'm so glad they found each other. They look so happy together. Now come on, let's skedaddle. Okay, that was completely random. Finally, our heroes were out of the swamps. The sun on their faces felt most pleasant ah! as they continued on their way. Sunlight. After some time, they arrived. Artia. Oh. Chapter 5. Artia. Hell yeah. Artia.
Here we are, home sweet home. Greetings, gang! Sorry we lost contact in the Sonnet Swamps, Rune Tooth coverage is still rather limited. Anyway, glad you weren't all devoured by leeches! I'm on my way to Artia City, I'll join you shortly. In the meantime, stretch your pins, take a look around! Moonbeard out! Violet! You're looking all smudged, I mean, more than usual. What have you been up to now? Hey, Mom! Well, we've been, you know, adventuring. Why did it do that? Hey, Mrs. Lightbrush! Yeah, things have gotten pretty gnarly. Humgrump is up to some kind of humgrumpy mischief. Always is, that one. Well, it's good to see you all included, including Jot. Including you, Jot. I read your latest adventure. Quite the page turner. The bit where you leapt over the... Mom! Jot's heard it already. Mom, Jot's heard it already. Alright, alright. Violet, listen. Your uncle, Umber, he's got himself in a pickle. Sounds like he needs some help. Could you go talk to him? Huh? It figures. Okay, Mom. I'm on it. I was gonna say I'm on my way. All right, look at that. So we've got chapter three and four done. We are now on chapter five, but this is where I'm gonna end it. That was already a pretty lengthy chapter. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. If you wanna see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. And if you wanna see the last video of the Plucky Squire, that'll also be linked somewhere around here. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there, take it easy, and Plucky Squire out.